oh, sweet, oh, sweeter than. Nobody sweeter than you, my chewing gum. Give it to me, chewing gum. All right, um, my name is Wisdom, known as Old Mid Wisdom, known as Mr. Heart Like Summer, known as Mr. Chewing Gum Baby, Mr. Boom Bada Boom, Mr. The Girl Slim Sugar. And these are just some of the names I've given you because I'm into music. That's primarily one of my major focuses. But uh, I'm also into movies. We just finished shooting a movie. Uh, I'm into voiceovers. I'm into animation for cartoons. I'm into social, politically conscious works, advocacy, all that kind of stuff. So I do kind of a lot of stuff. But I just gave you, you know, the things I have to do with the, the girl, them. Mr. Hot Like Summer. It's the chewing gum, baby. Oh, buddy, kill him, Lord, Jim, Legion, Tay, Bid him, my bullet, Nango, Jura, Dom, Jubari, Talk, Dylan, Satan. My journey with this whole music thing has been sort of like an in and out thing, but professionally, because I actually started since high school. You know, I started scribbling stuff. The teacher would be teaching. You know, I'm acting like I'm actually writing notes, but I'm actually writing verses and stuff. So that's kind of, kind of like how it began. But it wasn't really something, you know, in 2005, six, I did a song. I got featured on a song that actually made it to MTV. And then I made it to channel old BBC. It was with a friend called Smoke Doctor at the time. And I, kind of, I was like, you know what? I think I can do this, you know, because that's like one of my first serious, serious stuff. And they invited me in the studio. I just wrote the verse right there and then we did it. And then bam, it was like everywhere. So I was like, you know what, maybe I should give this a shot. But still, I wasn't really into it professionally like that. You understand? I was just, you know, just doing my thing. But 2012, 13, that's when I really started getting into it. Like, you know what, this is kind of like, all right, my direction is what I want to do. Black love, revolutionary. Black love, I keep playing my story. My love for my actions, I'm sorry. My... It's a reflection of positivity from them to me. It's been nothing but acquisition of knowledge when it comes to production, when it comes to songwriting, you know, when it comes to just different aspects and areas of just music and what the industry entails. So it's been very good working with them. Mama sit and see your body, no be lie you. Are they crazy for your matter, no be lie you. Hey, no be lie you. See your body, no be lie you. Hey, no be lie you. See your body, no be lie you. Yeah, actually, the interesting thing about me and Nick's was so I was in Dakar and I was recording a few songs. So the engineer that I was working with at the time happens to be the same engineer that mixes for Deep Doon the Gist, mixes for Umzo Dollar and some of the big names out there. And so we were going to the radio station. He's like, let's go to this radio station. So basically, we're just networking. So we go to the radio station and Nick's was having an interview there. You understand? So he was there with Ida Salk. Ida Salk is actually one of the upcoming big, I won't even call her upcoming unless she sees this. She's like massive out there right about now. Um, so yeah, we went to, to the radio. We got there. She was there. Nix was there. So after the interview, you know, it was my interview, but then we just vibed in between that. And then we met the studio after that. And then, bam. Where I see myself going is still the same socially conscious vibe, but with a different sort of production, a different sort of approach. Like the new song that I just released is called Chewing Gum Baby, right? And the song speaks on how times you know can get hard and women are so important to us but you have the kind of women that are sweet and you have the kind of women that are not yesterday i was just following an article on one of the online news channels whatever there's uh, an american woman who flew all the way down to gambia to join her husband who was deported you understand last year or so so that's an example of a chewing gum baby a woman that just makes life a little sweeter, a little easier to go through the hard times. So it still has that conscious vibe, but then if you listen to the instrumentation and you just listen to the whole orchestration arrangement of the sound, it's just different from what I used to do before.
Right about now, a lot of my music is available online, all major digital platforms, you know, the Spotify's, the iTunes, and all of that. So that's one of the avenues that people can get my music. But obviously, you can go on YouTube. I have Passworks there on SoundCloud, on the Money Empire SoundCloud, my own personal SoundCloud. I mean, you could just go on, on Google, just type Omid Wisdom, and you'll get my music. you get articles, things, everything that has to do with me, basically. Chingambe, Chingambe, Chingambe.